Today, I'll be showing you how to make this gorgeous orange fascinator. I call it the cobweb fascinator. But before we dive in, let us take a look at who won to attend for free the Ventcraft Academy Fascinator Online Training Class 1. Here are the contestants. Now remember, the instruction to qualify was to write free fascinator training in the comments of the video in bold letters, in capital letters. Now some didn't do so, so you were already disqualified. So let's take a look at who won the game. Congratulations, Divine Ogu, for winning to attend our Fascinator Class 1 for free. <laughs> hmm, I guess there should be another bonus offer at the end of this training. What do you think? Anyway, it's me and Kechi from the Vents, teaching you how to make fascinators and giving you tips and tricks on this craft. Let's dive into today's training. So what we're going to be making use of is our crinoline, 7 inch crinoline, that's it there, then a comb, then a brooch. Now this brooch, I have a class where I train how to make this brooch. If you want to learn, you can write that down in the comment section below. Then a matching thread with needle, then um, a veil, then a measurement tape and scissors. We need gum too. I forgot to show that here, but you'll be making use of a gum. So the first thing we're going to do is to check the size of the folds that we want. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm checking the size and I think this is a reasonable size. So I'm going to take the measurement of that size. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. It depends on one who you want to make it for if it's a baby a child an adult or the client's choice anyway or your choice so now i'm going to be measuring it and cutting it out what i need is six pieces of that size which is eight inches i'm just taking a measurement of the whole crinoline so i know how many um what the length is so i also know whether i'll be able to get that amount from this crane line that I have. So the first thing you do is take out the thread. Now this to ensure that the, um, it's fine. The edges of the um, crane line is fine. You don't see that funny, that um, thread-like stuff there. So I'm going to measure now and cut out eight inches. Okay, next step is to fold the six pieces. This is the way we fold the crinoline. Yes, we fold it like so. You fold one part in, the other part in, as in the, what I say, the front and the back. No, it's not the front and the back. Top and the bottom, yes, you fold them in. So you're like having two folds. After you're done with that, then you sew the crinoline that you folded. You sew it together like I'm doing. Just hang on, I'll do another one so you get a hold of how to do it. Watch. So we're going to be doing this same thing to six of the pieces that we cut out. So here are the six pieces, nicely done. Don't they look lovely? Now this is how you join them together to form the cobweb. I would advise you stay to the very end of this video. 
so that you could partake in another game to win yes we have a bonus offer at the end of this video and if you have not subscribed to this great channel of mine the vent craft i'll advise you do so because you would learn so much you would get tips and tricks that would help you in your craft it is so full of so many packages so do subscribe now click the like button if you like what i'm doing here Next step to designing this cobweb fascinator, cobweb crinoline fascinator, is to take the comb and attach it to the cobweb you have just made. Now I'm cutting out that excess that is there so that the comb will sit perfectly on the cobweb crinoline fascinator. Now remember, whenever you're sewing comb, you sew through the tits. So I'm going to be sewing through all the tits. This helps the comb to sit firmly on the fascinator. Watch and learn. Now the next step to our cobweb crinoline fascinator is to take the veil, the fascinator veil and pleat it like so, like I'm doing it, then I'm going to sew it together. Now I'm making use of orange thread because I'm going to fix it on the orange um, base that we have, the crinoline base we have already done. So, and I'm going to put another orange thing on top so it's going to be hidden. So that's why I'm making use of orange, it doesn't matter at this point. So this is how I'm going to place it. You can also put it on a dummy head to check, to see whether it would come out the way you want it to come out as in the veil, whether it would, you know, come out to the face and you adjust it appropriately so that's the way we're going to fix the veil to the crinoline base
After that's done, I'm going to take my Uhu gum and rub on this. I call it spiral rose. Yes, I used ribbon to make it. Remember I said that if you want to know how to make it, you could write in the comment section below so I would um, move you to the class. Yes, so that's the way I fix it with my Uhu gum on top of the crinoline cobweb. Oh, cobweb crinoline fascinator. Yes, the next thing I'm going to do is cover up the sewing and I made use of bias. So I just take a small piece of bias and cover up all those threads that are showing to make my work look neat and fantastic. And that's it, we're done with the cobweb crinoline fascinator. Now I would like to thank you for staying with me to the very end of this video with this bonus offer. We're having the same class, the batch B of fascinator class one, happening on the 26th of March, 2021. So to qualify to get the free training, all you need to do is write bonus offer in small letters bonus offer in small letters in the comment section below to qualify and the winner gets to attend the class for free the winner will be announced on our video that will be released on the 22nd of march 2021